In today's video, we're testing the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Cyberstorm Access versus Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In this video, we have a box of the new Cyberstorm Access set, which by the way, if you've not seen our opening yesterday, make sure to go check it out. But this is our second opening of Cyberstorm Access and uh, we have one more thing. We have two Legendary Collection 25th Anniversaries. We're doing the most recent two releases from Yu-Gi-Oh! versus one another to see which one is better. Cyberstorm Access is of course that a uh, little bit of an advantage right now because the new prices, they haven't completely gone down or settled yet. But let me know in the comments which one of these is better. And that can be for the giveaway, which will be every card we pull in this video. That's all the promos out of here. That's all the secret rares we pull potentially. That's the starlight hopefully we pull. And uh, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know which one's better. All right, so Legendary Collection, we're going to count this as like a 15 dollars Actually, we'll open it up and see what the... We'll see what this, the thing is, because the back card actually can be like 20 something bucks if it's a blue eyes, and it is a blue eyes. That's going to be great for the legendary collection side. And of course, all these are maybe worth a buck or two. Who knows? So this one, I think last time I checked was $23 for the uh, 25th anniversary blue eyes, which is insane for a promo. And then, of course, we have our box and our other packs. And of course, one more mini box coming up. So let's start off with Cyberstorm Access. There are, of course, more packs in Cyberstorm Access. But the reason I did two mini boxes is because the retail is 64 four bucks for those two mini boxes which is very close to one booster box so the beginning value of these is very very similar Ooh, we're starting off with a nice jade that is i pulled two of these yesterday i pulled in literally every box i've opened so far not a great one in terms of ultra rares but there's a lot of good cards left in this set that we could potentially pull so let's see if we can get them we got sweet dreams dual avatar i mean a lot of good cards i'm going to be opening two packs of cyberstorm for every one pack of legendary collection that we open up you know, for, you know, double the packs over here. Got to do that. Okay, so let's start this side off with a Dark Crisis pack. 25th anniversary. One, two, three. Can we get that? We never pulled the Judgment in our live stream. This is the only, like, secret we didn't pull. But we did pull it in another video. But uh, maybe we could pull it here. Legendary Flame Lord and a non-spell casting area. That's not going to do it for us. Let's see if Cyberstorm access. I think, I mean, Legendary Collection does have the advantage of having those promo packs, which are crazy. I mean, they've already got a $23 card, so that's actually going to be pretty tough for the Cyberstorm to beat, even with these like uh, crazy, you know, pre-order, not pre-order, but uh, yeah, I guess pre-order prices. That makes sense. So it's pretty interesting that this is going to, I don't know how this is going to go. It's going to be very interesting to see who wins. Normally it would be like the newer set that hasn't like settled in price yet. It's like dominates every time. But because Legendary Collection has those guaranteed promos, it's going to be pretty awesome. And ooh, a secret rare. Why is it not four from the back, by the way? I've done four from the... Didn't I do four from the back? Maybe I did three. We pulled this yesterday in a starlight. That was pretty amazing. So there's one of our secret rares. That's not bad. But yeah, uh, it's, speaking of promos being guaranteed, those Mega Tins coming up, guys, are going to be absolutely insane. We will, of course, have a pre-order link with Sassiato as soon as that it becomes available. It's usually a little bit later than some of the other ones you see out there. But I appreciate you guys waiting on us, you know, and, and grab... Legendary Collection! Wow! Secret Rare interrupted my sentence, and I am not mad about it. You guys are going to have a pretty nice giveaway in this one. It'll be hard to beat yesterday, but we are off to a good start to potentially doing that. You guys can see the score here. It's pretty insane. It's been a, it's been a good battle so far, but uh, as I was saying, I appreciate all you guys who pre-order with Sassiato and I, which is pretty awesome, because every time you use my link, it helps me get more product and stuff like that for our openings. Per Lily, we have uh, Dreaming. And we have a super heavy samurai. See, look, am I doing three from the back? I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm doing four, but maybe I'm switching to three because over there it's three, two, three, four. I don't know what's going on. But every time there's an extra card. Reinforced, we got a shattered, sword soul punishment, fallen. How did I get here? Classic gold pride. And a grand soulful cord, Aculia. Interesting to see the soulful cords back. Okay, legendary collection. Uh, they've been uh, kind of hot recently. Nothing more fun than open a legendary collection box. I gotta say, Grimaju Day Iza. That's still a great card. Heart of the Underdog, Curse Seal, Balloon Lizard, Molten Zombie, the Sasuke Samurai, and an Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness. We've already gotten two foils. Crazy start for legendary collection. I mean, with a blue eyes tune, one of the best cards you could even pull out of Legendary Collection 25th, all six sets. I mean, Blue Eyes Tune is up there in terms of value. You got Manadium, and of course, like, nostalgic value as well. We've got the Super Every Samurai Brave, Masarabo, Pharaoh's Servant. I think I did two there. No, I don't think I did. I only did one. So we're gonna do three Cyberstorm Access in a row next. One, two, three. 
Jinzo time. Can we possibly get a Jinzo? Solemn wishes. Shadow of Eyes. I'm excited. I just have a good feeling about these. Michizuri. Oh, I had a good feeling. It was the wrong card, but it's still an awesome one. Thousand Eyes Restrict. I've got to keep recording today. I recorded yesterday's video today, same day as this, and wow, we are on fire right now. All right, now I know we're about to pull a Starlight Rare at this rate. We are absolutely crushing it. This is insane. I haven't been this hot opening packs in a while. Like, it's, it's insane. We are pulling good stuff like every single box we're opening. Pig Iron, we've got the Cynet Firewall. Well, I don't want to be anything other than a Starlight Rare. It worked last time. I did that song. I'm just saying. It worked last time. The Starlight Rare. Now uh, we've gotten a Thousand Eyes and a Blue Eyes uh, Toon Dragon. I was going to say Shining because we've been trying to summon that on Twitch recently. Go follow the Twitch if you haven't already. We've been streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday for that. It's been really, really fun. Doing a lot of cool uh, Master Rule and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, uh, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, a Thousand Eyes Restrict, a Secret Rare out of Cyberstorm. I literally cannot remember the name. I have to double check every time I say it. I'm like, is it Cyber Code? Is it Cybernetic? I can't remember. I don't know why, but hey, Metal Raiders time. Pecanio Moth, here we go. Pecanio Moth in the comments, send me some luck. Will we pull it? The Legendary. Thunder Dragon's a good card. Mega Thunderball. Speaking of Thunder. Jirai Gumo, Steel Scorpion, Ocean Gun, and a Karibo. Super rare. Man, that was four foils already. Four out of five right now. Out of that. That's insane. And not even to mention that we pulled a Blue Eyes 25th Anniversary Rare. It's like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is crazy good. Sweet Dreams. We got the brightest. Manadium, Manadium, Bunny Ears, Pendulum, Etude, Double Hooking, and a Harvest Angel of Doom. One more pack on this side. Then we have Blue Legend Blue Eyes. Then we have Legendary Collection 25th. Wow. I think the 25th is going to be sitting pretty at this point. Uh, unless we pull something crazy out of here. We got to get some good cards. I mean, there's some good cards in this set. How did I get here? That's a good one. We've got uh, Sakatama and a Manadium Meek Super Rare. Now to Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Still have not pulled the 25th Anniversary Dark Magician. Um, when by that, I mean the 25th Anniversary Pack Dark Magician, not this, not the Starlight slash 25th version. Just want the uh, card out of the pack, the Dark Magician from LOB. I've not pulled it yet. Lesser Dragon, okay. LOB is always letting us down out of these. All right, we got another box. Let's get these open. Let's see what promo we get and see if it's gonna add crazy value here, which it's probably going to. All right, the back could be another blue eyes at this rate because it is not colored. Will it be red eyes, dark magician, blue eyes? These are all pretty good. They're better than Nobilisk, which is my favorite one. Red eyes, black dragon. Okay, I have a bunch of these. I feel like I've pulled those a bunch, um, but still those are pretty decently valuable. So that's gonna be added onto the score. You guys can see it now. It is not looking good for Cyberstorm access, at least in my opinion, but you know, with these inflated prices, maybe they are actually in it. Let's find out. We have full active, shattered, cybers, super Rave samurai, the Moissanite. Gold Pride, Cybers again, Firewall Phantom, and a Teller Knight Constellar Caduceus. That is probably not a bad card. Ultra Rare. One more. I mean, I don't know if Teller Knights are really that good, so maybe it's not too valuable, but maybe, you know, the new support is helping out. We got Brightest, Nularia, Sword Punishment, Menanium, Fallen, Pig Iron, Perlily, and a Bee Trooper, Cruel Saturnus. Very cool. I like to see the Bee Troopers. All right, Dark Crisis. Can you continue the hot streak for Legendary Collection? Which, I mean, it's been quite hot. That's for sure. We have Incandescent, Sasuke Samurai number two, Morale Boost with the Die Gruff, or hey, Pandemonium. He is, where is it? Where does Die at? Or whatever it's called. Mephist and an Outstanding Dog Marin, a classic. Back to Cyberstorm. Will we access some crazy pulls? Let's find out. One, two, three, four. We have Pendulum Moon. Sweet dreams. Dynamorphia intact. Fusion duplication. Double hooking. Virtual world. Etude. Cyanide circuit. And a dreaming. Nemleria. One more. Cyberstorm access before we get to that spell ruler pack, which last time we pulled a blue eyes tune dragon. So we'll, we could double up. Who knows? Hatsugai. Ascra. Malong. Trap tracks. Sulfur cord, the pearly, and a gold pride. Better luck next time. That's a secret rare. Gold pride getting more support. Okay, secret rare is not bad. I don't know how great that card is, but uh, now they're probably, if it's not that good, they're probably gonna really need a starlight. Probably gonna really need. That does not make sense. Koto Dama. Will we get another blue eyes tune? We've had some crazy bulls today. Senju and a guardian of the throne room with a little bit of a, uh, a brightness addition to him. He's very bright. Um, no blue eyes tune, but one for two on the spell ruler getting a blue eyes tune. We're not complaining about that. Will there be a starlight in this pack? Makanko, Abomination, Spirit of Samurai, Sakatama, 
We got Super Samurai, How to Die Get Here, and a Votus, my favorite super out of this set. Besides maybe that, that dragon one, which I haven't pulled except one time. Okay, we got Reinforce, the Nimleria, uh, Sword Soul, Bunny Ears from Space Jam, Pendulum, Kitsune, Imperial, and a Kitty Tail Super Rare. Time for Invasion of Chaos. Yes, we have pulled the big guys out of here before, but that has not stopped me from wanting to do it again. Tower of Babel, Stumbling, Cannonball Spear Shellfish, Lord Poison, Neobug, Chaos Orc, Zero Gravity, Dark Triceratops, and another Grenmaju. Is that a sign? I think it is from us playing it on Master Duel recently. Okay, next pack. One, two, three, four. We have a Halo. New Frontier, Gold Pride, Pedal to the Metal. Pedal to the metal, pedal to the metal. Gold pride, we have a Sakatama and a Manadium Prime Heart. Manadium Prime Heart. Is this the one that everybody was tweeting about the other day? I think it was. And by the other day, I mean uh, today at the time of recording this. <laughs> okay. We have Brightest Blazing Branded King, Dream Tower, Fusion Duplication, Cybers, Fallen, Manadium Reframing. We got Trap Tracks, Katsuni, and a Bestial Alubra. I'm wondering if those Bestials are going to be crazy money like they. Have been in the past, you know, some, that's a pretty big best deals. Pharaoh Servant, you have also been great to us today. Can you give us a Genzo to go along with our Thousand Eyes? That would be absurd. Skull Mariner, DNA Surgery, Gruchin Kuwagata, Thousand Eyes Idol, not a bad card. Overdrive, Dimension Hole, and a Numinous Healer. Getting down toward the end, the scoring has slowed down. It started off insanely hot. Let's see if it will pick up again at the end. Manadium, Reinforce, Firewall Phantom, Sulfur Cord, Moisten Knight, we got Golden Cloud, and we got a Super Heavy Samurai card, very nice. One more Cyberstorm access, until we go into Legend of Blue Eyes. It's gonna be a good one. We have Nimleria, Full Active, Hatsugai, Dual Avatar, Virtual World Tiger, Super Heavy Samurai, Pig Iron vs. Pig Pen, Etude, and another Super Heavy Samurai, Prodigy, Legend of Blue Eyes time. The original, the OG, the first set ever made. The reprint has not been that great to us. It's been fine. We pulled a Blue Eyes, but we have not pulled Dark Magician or Exodia Head. Dark World Thorns, that is a Ruxin special. First of the day, I think. Root Water, we got our mail, we got Aquamador, and a Sogan. So, hey, first Ruxin special of the day this far in. Pat me on the back, guys, or I'll pat myself on the back just... Let me know in the comments how great that is. Two packs to go for Cyberstorm Access. We're going to open one, then we're going to open the Metal Raiders, because I think they might be behind. So they might need that last pack magic like like yesterday's video. Like, seriously like yesterday's video. Just like it, actually. Perlily, I love that one. Pendulum, Imperial Princess, and a Baromath, the Sacred Sheep Trump. Metal Raiders, can you put away this battle? Can you pull something insane to end it? Here we go. One, two, three. We've got one more Cyberstorm Access after this. we got Dragon Piper. Can we get that Petite Moth, that Larva Moth, Cousin Moth? We've got the Grande, Shadow Ghoul, and a Destroyer Golem. That was much more of a dud out of that Legendary Collection, the second one. I'm not sure we pulled a foil at all, so uh, they're trying to let Cyberstorm access back in. Will the last pack magic be here two days in a row? Or two, uh, yeah, I guess two days in a row when you guys are seeing this. We have Pendulumun, Makonko, Hatsugai, Huli. Cyverse, Pearly Sleepy Memory, the Super Heavy Samurai, Soul Gaia Booster. We have a double hooking. Oh, it's up next. It is an Anduladia of the June Moon. That's not what we needed. Here's the score. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. There will be more epic openings coming up. Cyberstorm Access stream is probably going to be Sunday and probably more content opening it tomorrow. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Mycycle, James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.